Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Amia. In this episode, we're gonna look at infrastructure protection on AWS and learn how you can prevent and mitigate the risk from common cyber attacks. Denial of service, DOS attacks are cyber attacks which targets a network resources to make them unavailable to its intended users by disrupting services of a host connected to the internet. Denial of service is typically accomplished by flooding the targeted machines, consuming their bandwidths, or draining their resources, in order to overwhelm the target and prevent requests from normal users. Distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks are large-scale DOS attacks. Common attacks are UDP flood, SYN flood, DNS amplification. The perpetrator uses more than one unique IP address or machine, often from thousands of hosts infected with malware or from a botnet, to target the victim's network. A botnet is a network of infected zombie computers waiting to receive commands. In a DDoS attack, the incoming traffic flooding the victim originates from many different sources. This effectively makes it impossible to stop the attack simply by blocking a single source. You can use DDoS protection services to effectively detect and prevent common DDoS attacks. AWS Shield is a managed DDoS protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS. It provides always-on detection and automatic inline mitigations that minimize application downtime and latency. All AWS customers benefit from the automatic protections of AWS Shield Standard, at no additional charge. Shield Standard defends against most common Layer 3 and Layer 4 DDoS attacks, that occur frequently on network and transport layers. For higher levels of protection against attacks, you can use AWS Shield Advance to provide additional detection and mitigation against large and sophisticated DDoS attacks. You need to pay $3,000 per month for Shield Advanced. It is a little bit expensive. However, in the event of a DDoS attack, you will be reimbursed for any additional charges caused by the DDoS attack. Shield Advanced is available globally on all Amazon CloudFront, AWS Global Accelerator and Amazon Route 53 Edge locations. AWS Shield is integrated with CloudFront, which supports custom origins outside of AWS. You can protect your web applications hosted anywhere in the world by deploying CloudFront in front of your application. Your origin can be S3, EC2, ELB, or custom servers outside of AWS. Web exploits are cyber attacks where attackers attempt to gain certain control of host sites by attacking vulnerability or misconfiguration of the websites, result in data leaks, database destruction, distribute malicious code, or sending spams. These attacks are usually at layer 7 the application layer. Common web exploits are SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Attackers send malicious SQL queries or client-side JavaScript code to the target in order to steal data, destroy database, or hijack the website. Attackers usually use automated programs to scan for vulnerabilities of the targeted website. These vulnerabilities could be HTML forms or APIs allowing to send and execute SQL code, client-side JavaScript code, server-side command code. Once the vulnerability is found, attackers send the malicious code to the server or database. Many open-source-based websites often fall victim to these web exploits. You can detect and prevent common web exploits by placing a web application firewall in front of the web servers to block certain traffic with suspicious request patterns. AWS WAF is a web application firewall that helps protect web applications or APIs against common web exploits such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting. WAF gives you control over how traffic reaches your applications by enabling you to create security rules that block common attack patterns. You can allow, block, or count web requests based on conditions, such as IP addresses, HTTP request headers, HTTP request body, URI strings, request length, malicious script, or SQL code. AWS WAF is integrated with Amazon CloudFront, which supports custom origins outside of AWS. In this episode, we've learned AWS Shield and AWS WAF. AWS Shield is a managed DDoS protection service. It comes with Shield Standard and Shield Advanced. By default, all AWS customers benefit from Shield Standard, it is free to use. AWS WAF helps protect websites or APIs against common web exploits, such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting. Both AWS Shield and WAF are integrated with CloudFront and support non-AWS hosted websites. 
Okay, that's all for AWS Shield and AWS WAF. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!